Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Dracalia Lost video. Today I'm going to be going over the brand new Summon Showcase that will be replacing the Gala Banner, so this is your last chance for Gala Knot or Miriam. I finally sparking Gala Knot. It was a very bad experience, but let's see what these, uh, the next adventure is. So, so I'm basically in saving mode because I'm already waiting for the next collab with limited units that I'm going to be saving for, so... But let's see how these two look, because maybe I'll end up getting them on a ticket or something later down the road. So it's going to be a prize summon showcase, which these are always great when it's free, because you have a chance of getting uh, really cool prizes. We can see the prizes right here. And of the best prizes, we have the silver prize, uh, the gold prize, and the platinum prize. Platinum prize is what you obviously always want to get. One sunlight stone, a Damascus ingot, or adamantum ingot. All very good stuff. Yeah, I would probably want to want to get the stone and this ignit before I got anything else, but still pretty good. I like it when they do these for free. I don't like it when they do prize showcases. And they don't do free summons because then I feel like it's not worth it to summon. But when it's like this and there's free summons, it's great for it. Um, and the two units that are going to be coming are, of course, Alberius and High Tithonius. So let's look at Alberius. I assume this man's going to be fucking crazy nuts. Uh, by the way, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There we go, let's go into it. I almost forgot. So, the legendary founder king, three centuries ago, he defeated the other who had been restored by the Drenel Empire and founded the Kingdom of Alberia. Able to form packs with many dragons, he soon joined forces with the six great, wor great worms. Circle it down. The user takes the form of Hygethonius, deals damage to targets and nearby enemies, inflicts Shadow Blight, then returns to their original form. The user then deals further damage to the target and nearby enemies. Certain abilities that can activate while shapeshifting will affect Hygethonius' attack. Oh, wait, what? So damage 327 times 3. Shadow Blight. Okay, Exalted Inception. The user takes the form of High Midgar somewhere, deals damage to surrounding enemies, inflicts stun, raises dragon gauge. If the attack connects, then return to their original form. And then if the abilities that affect shapeshifting affect this attack, the stun lasts six seconds. That's crazy. This man is crazy. Dragon haste, 15%. Dragon damage, shadow, 12% up. Uh, shapeshift prep and dragon defense. Fill 25% of the dragon gauge at the start of quest. Increase the defense by 25% when in dragon form. Blind resistance is 100% and dragon fierce rule 2. Grants the user's attack the ability to dispel one enemy buff when in dragon form. This effect does not apply to the damage dealt as the user sh Wait, does that mean that... This effect does not apply to the damage dealt as the user shapeshifts. So that means these two attacks... Am I am I getting this right? That these... When he turns into the dragons here. Because this is certain abilities that activate while shapeshifting will affect this attack. So that means that this would activate. So both these attacks also... Wow, that's kind of crazy. To be fair, they do cost a buttload. This costs 3,360. And this is 5,000. Jesus Christ, though. He sounds amazing. I would love to have him, actually. God damn it, am I gonna have to grind up more might? I'll see. I definitely would want actually want to have this man. He sounds like he'd be crazy fun. I really do love Venus at um, Dragon Transform, like high at like uh, human mids and uh, Mim, obviously. I'm interested to see how this works. He sounds really fun. This sounds really dumb fun, if I'm being 100% honest with you. And that's cool. That's cool to me. Okay, so here we go. While an Aubrius is in the form of Hygestonius when Skill Circuit Dawn is used, or in the form of Hyrule when Skull Exalted Inception is used, he is affected by the ability Shapeshift Prepped and Dragon Defense abilities that increase damage when in Dragon Form like Dragon Damage Percentage, abilities that affects attacks when in Dragon Form like Dragon Fierce Rule. Hygethonius, uh, Nether Blast. The Nether Worm, uh, Tithonius, having unlocked his hidden power within, though he once wandered the Abyss of Death, he has since effected a grand revival. Ever loyal to Alberius, he spreads his wings once more to serve his king's will. Uh, Nether Blast deals damage to the target of nearby enemies, draws them together, inflicts Shadow Blight. Cool. Shadow Strength and High Dragon Might 5. The user's attuned to Shadow, increased strength by 65%, and increased strength 
by a further 20% for the remainder of the quest upon shapeshifting, up to twice per quest, and Shadow Steel Dragon Endurance. If the users attend to Shadow, increase max HP by 30 per What? So he's just made to go with Alberius then. So we get some the second time by the second time you shapeshift, you get the 30% more max HP. Okay. I mean, yeah, these two obviously work together. Um Man. I'm kinda liking the way Alberius is going, which is a shame that I'm so strapped for everything. I mean this guy was obviously always going to be amazing. He's Alberius. Um at least that's how I'm currently feeling. I really do think that these two, I like the way that they synergize together and I like what they're doing. Um, I think, again, the one thing that could potentially be like, I don't know about this guy, is the ice skill energy required. Um, that can certainly be a killer for, I guess, a lot of things. But I think it ends up working out in my, in my mind. I think that would end up working out. Imagine if Alberius was... Um, fire and you got access to Mars. <laughs> like there's so, I feel like there's so many ways there's so many specific adventures that if they were red or red fire, um, they would just be unbelievably busted. This is definitely one of those cases I feel like. But yeah, those are those two man. Tell me what you think obviously. I'm glad to listen and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.